It's on Facebook, so we're gonna uh, give this a run through. And the first thing you wanna notice is uh, the knock test. So, don't hear any knocking. Must be bedded, right? Nope, take a look. Watch this. This is the flex test. See those keys move up and down? See that? The whole row of keys is moving up and down. And if you have vision problems like me, you can pop in the key slip to give you a visual guide. And you can really see how much those keys are moving up and down. If I press all the way down here in the base, they're still moving all the way across the board. See that? All right. If I press it in the middle, it's moving everywhere, even here. So we're gonna bed this puppy for you today. So since I know there's no contact because of this flex, at any of the glides that I'm pressing on, I can start uh, first by just making contact. So I like to start with this one. And you will see the keys wink up when I make contact, all right? So they're nice and slow, and you'll feel it too. Nothing yet. Getting close. There we go. All right, and then you wanna check the front rail. Went a little too far, so we'll back it up. That's on the end. Check the flex in the front rail, and there's none. And the balance. Okay. This one, obviously, still. We're going to leave that till last. So I just keep going. I want to turn these down until I see that wink up. miss it. So always double check. All right, now for the next one. I like to get right down and get my eyes right at. Okay, so it's still, see it going up and down like that? Not bedded yet. Keep on going. Now I'm getting a knock, so I'm close, but not yet. All right, get a close up on this. Okay. solid contact. Test it without the tool. A little knock, so a little farther. Okay. Just make more for my taste. Okay. Getting somewhere. Now this over here, it's a high heaven. So same thing. Turn it down until you see those keys wink. That one went pretty quickly. Just a little bit more. I can still see the keys winking up and down. Don't know if you can. Let's make it super so See that? It's only a little bit, but you can see this line. All right, so we're not there yet. Now 
here's one thing that's confusing about the knock test. You do this and you say, well, where's that knock coming from? Is it here? Is it there? Is it there? That's what I like about the flex test. It doesn't give you a false reading. Oh, there we go. The key's winked up a little. There we go. No movement anywhere. See that? That's what we want. And now we do the last one. Okay, got a little wink. creaking up against the uh, shift spring, I do believe. Yeah, hear that? There we go. All right, now we want to go back, make sure we didn't go too far, because if we went too far, this one will be flexing, but it's not, all right? Same thing here. Nice and solid all the way across. That's what we want. Then we go back and do the base. And this one, see that flex? That's a big flex. We want to make sure when we're done that the cheek block is holding this front rail down on the corner. It's not supposed to hold it down in the middle, just on that edge. Closer. Little knock, a little more. There we go, I'm getting there. Check with no tool, always, always. And then go back and check the other ones. No flex. 